How you doing guys? I know I've mentioned a few times about how useful it is and how big of a money saver it can be to always just look to see if you can find something that you are interested in buying. Look first to see if you can buy it used. And if it's something you don't need very badly, you can even wait a long time or a while longer than you would want to probably and make a list of things that you want. If you see them at garage sales, estate sales, Craigslist, buy, sell groups, whatever, you might be able to jump on it. One of those things I recently was able to do for myself, something that I would kind of always wanted, but always was not really worth spending the extra money because it's considerably expensive usually, hard to find used, and I don't need it. I could have used the other stuff that I had already, and I'm gonna show you what that is. So this is it. I have all my barbells and stuff, and I was able to do pretty much anything I wanted to with those, but I always like having dumbbells around. But normally it's just so expensive. A set like this of the cheapest hex dumbbells on Amazon I think is around 1700 bucks. <coughs> I got all these from, it's 12 or 13 pairs from 15 up to 70s and the stand delivered for 550 bucks, which is still a lot of money, but I also had about three sets, like 30s, 40s, and 25s from another bulk purchase of workout equipment. See, I got a decent home gym here. And uh, so I'll be able to sell those, I already sold two of them and four sets because I had 15s too. So I'll be able to sell those and get about 100 bucks profit, which takes us down to like 450 delivered. Pretty awesome. So you can do all these if you need to do some, I don't know, warm ups or flies or something like that. All the way up to these 70s. So I can do some bicep curls. Just joking, I can't curl that. Let me know which ones I should curl though and I'll give it a shot. 50s. 45s, what do you think? Yeah, so always check to see if you can buy stuff used.